Mr. Tindall will now pass the colors to Colonel Rickard, the incoming commander, charging him with the responsibility for the unit as its new garrison commander. Mr. Davis Tindall, the Director of Installation Management Command's Atlantic Region, passes on the garrison colors to New Fort George G. Meade Garrison Commander, Colonel Thomas Rickard. Hello and welcome to Meade Week. I'm Brian Spann. The change of command was held Thursday in ceremonies on McLaughlin Parade Field. We'll have more in just a moment. Also this week, scenes from National Night Out 2016, Meet the Fort Meade Bike Patrol, and the U.S. Army Field Band readies for their 70th anniversary concert. These stories and more, but first, Fort Meade welcomed a new garrison commander this week. The ceremony officiated by NCOB Atlantic Region Director Mr. Davis Tyndall saw outgoing Commander Colonel Brian Foley relinquish command to Colonel Thomas Rickard. An infantry guy commanding Fort Meade. What is up with that? <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you that your faith in the Army promotion and selection process can remain rock solid because the Army truly got it right once again. Tom gets to crack all the infantry guy jokes he wants, but don't let him fool you. He actually does know how that cyber is spelled with a C and not an S. <laughs> and he has impressed me with how for the past year with his intelligence, enthusiasm, and eagerness to join this team. The Army seems to always select the right guy at the right time with the right skills needed to move an organization forward, and Tom's recent return from a year serving as Director of Information Operations for U.S. Forces Afghanistan gives him the ability to speak with authority on how the cyber warriors right here at Fort Meade are saving countless lives and enabling mission success at the tactical edge of the battlefield. The quiet professionals of Team Meade support a powerful projection platform at the confluence of information, intelligence, and cyber activities, providing combatant commanders ways to affect the enemy's will to fight. During the past year in Afghanistan, I saw firsthand the power that Fort Meade brings to the battlefield, truly amazing capabilities that definitely affect the enemy's will to fight. We must remember the importance of what we do every day, sustain, support, defend, and be resilient in our efforts as conditions change. I'm proud to serve with you at our nation's Center for Information, Intelligence, and Cyber Operations. Thank you again for your attendance and patience. Sustain, support, defend, Team Meade. We sat down with Colonel Rickard this week for an initial interview with Meade Week and the Sound Off. We'll have the interview for you next week. Stay tuned. Meanwhile, the first Tuesday in August is celebrated in communities across the country and military installations worldwide as National Night Out. It's an annual community building campaign promoting police and emergency personnel partnerships. This is the 33rd year for National Night Out and Fort Meade's version has received numerous national awards in recent years, including an outstanding participation award from the National Association of Town Watches, a Best Business Practice Award from FEMA, and Best Corporate Social Responsibility event from Public Relations Daily. So what about this year's event? Well, all the usual suspects were on hand, including primary corporate sponsor, Corvius Military Living, other stalwarts, including the Slurpee Truck, McGruff the Crime Dog, and of course, there were a variety of law enforcement and emergency vehicles and equipment. Too soon to say if this year's event will be recognized nationally, but from our viewpoint, the 2016 event matched up very well with past years. In a related story, community relationships and interaction is a big part of the job for a group of Fort Meade police officers. You'll find them cruising the neighborhoods, talking to kids and families, plus they're pretty visible at every major post event. It's the Fort Meade Bike Patrol. We try and ride uh, mainly for events special events like uh, the 4th of July ceremony, the uh, incoming uh, National Night Out, as well as uh, just random patrols. While community interaction is an important part of the job, the Bicycle Patrol is made up of fully trained and qualified police officers that just happen to offer a different kind of law enforcement. We're able to go in between houses, go down trails, uh, stuff where a normal police officer in a vehicle cannot get to. Uh, we have the element of surprise, um, kids may be down a, a path and uh, not expecting police officers to come down that way and we show up. In other news, the United States Army Field Band is staging its 70th anniversary concert on Saturday, August 20th, starting at 7 p.m. at Constitution Park. The performance features performances by the concert band and soldiers chorus, including the big finale, Tchaikovsky's 1812 Overture with a Presidential Salute Battery and the Continental Color Guard. That's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great Mead Week.